A few years ago, I was in a job interview and I got asked the question. So, where do you see yourself in five years? And I answered very honestly as I want to do and told the interviewer, if all goes well, cause see there's this master's program in screenwriting in London that I want to do after my bachelor's. So if all goes well, I'll have just completed that program and I'll still be in London and uh, see where it goes from there. And the interviewer said, oh, well that's a nice dream. Hmm. It was at that moment that I decided that dream wasn't the word for it. The way it was said put the emphasis on the word dream, as in something that gives you comfort, something that you return to again and again, something that you'd like to do but is ultimately just something fantastical that your mind creates inside itself and something that will likely stay there. That's not what this was for me. I thought, I'm a good student and school is as good a reason as any to get to London, the place I've wanted to live since I was 15. And most importantly, I thought, I am a writer. I did an intensive creative writing program in high school and I worked my butt off to do well in it. And right now I work my butt off at university and I've tailored my education to be in line with how to write, how to perform, how to understand people better, how to make beautiful art, and how to do all my favorite things well and better. Why the hell can't I go to London? So I saved every paycheck from that job and all the other jobs I had afterwards. I made videos on this channel and became a YouTube partner. I researched backup options in case I didn't get my number one choice and I contacted all the program directors to get a sense of what it was all about. And through it all, I wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote until I had spawned enough ideas to create a portfolio. And then I wrote that portfolio and then I submitted it. The minute you start figuring out how your dreams are achievable, they're no longer dreams, they're goals. And all big goals have hundreds of tiny little goals leading up to them. And the great thing about these tiny little goals is that they're so much easier to achieve than the big one at the end. All you have to do is concentrate on a few at a time. All this is to say that I got into my number one choice of program and will be moving to London to study screenwriting for a year this coming January. I'm so incredibly excited to get to London and to start doing all these super cool things that I have planned. I know there's a huge YouTuber community in London and I can't wait to join it. People keep telling me that my dream came true, but I tell them thank you, but no. It's not that my dream came true, it's that I achieved my goal. A dream come true is something wonderful that happens without your control. Like going to register for classes and finding that all your classes are on two days a week and you're gonna have a five day weekend to spend loads of time doing the things you love with the people you love. That's a dream come true. True story by the way. When you actively figure out how to live your dream, you're putting these massive amounts of effort into figuring out how to make this thing real and pretty soon it becomes an aspiration and then soon after that a goal hopefully one that you can achieve. And if you actively pursue your dream and it doesn't work out, then at least you know you've done everything you possibly can. And maybe there's another goal out there that you're perfectly capable of achieving. But don't forget to have goals for afterwards set up in the back of your mind, just somewhere back there, because the worst thing is getting someplace wonderful and thinking, well now what? So this I ask you, what are the things that you call your dreams? Do you want them with all your heart? Are they in line with what you're good at? What can you do right now to get closer to them? Okay, do you have your answers? Then congratulations, your dreams are now your goals. Go for it.